she doesn't have it. Hello, Scorpio. My goodness. Okay. Hey, it's Sarah from Divinely You. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, I'm going to be doing a Facebook live on April 26th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, if you want an individual card pull donation based, please. Um, that's going to be going on on my Facebook page. The link is in the description box below if you want to check that out. Um, big astrology stuff happening. I feel like I've heard the Leo King say multiple times that Scorpio is going to fuck this up. <laughs> So, and I happen to be a Scorpio moon, a Scorpio rising and a Uranus and Scorpio. So I have a lot of Scorpio, even though I'm an Aquarius, I have a lot of Scorpio. So I feel like I could fuck up this year, like without knowing that I'm fucking it up. So if you feel like you're fucking it up, you're probably, you're right there with me. Um, okay. So let's just jump right into this, um, and talk about it because, um, I, this, it sucks when you have to read for a sign that you have a lot of in your chart, because, I'm like talking to myself over here. <laughs> so um, we have the four of water. We got the three of fire and the four of earth. So the four of water is all about um, not missing an opportunity. <laughs> um being open to the possibilities uh the three of fire is all about um uh, first of all can we just admire this beautiful card okay um it's all about abundance and making long-term plans and being you know taking leaps of faith um and 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 that kind of thing and then we got the four of earth which is all about being too cautious with money Ooh. okay so <laughs> So <laughs> if anyone who knows me is watching this right now, they're probably laughing because this reading is literally speaking to me. Um, but if you're a Scorpio out there watching this, um, so what I'm getting from this is take the leaps, um, be open to like, this is an abundance card. Uh, it's all about just being available to the abundance. Don't be scared. Don't be like, oh my God, where's the money going to come from? The money's going to come from somewhere. Like you have to just believe that that money is going to show up. That opportunity is going to show up. The, 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 the alignment is going to show up and be available to you. Um, and, and be open to the opportunities, be open to the possibilities, right? Be like, you don't know where that opportunity is going to be or that possibility is going to be. It could be right in front of your face and you're like totally not open to it or you're not looking for it. And the thing is, is that some aligned opportunities we aren't looking for. They just show up like poof. Hi, we're here. Opportunity, possibility. It's here. Um, and maybe you're being too cautious with whatever, like maybe it's, maybe it's not particularly about money, but maybe you're being too cautious. So you're not willing, again, you're back to this, like you're not willing to see the possibility or the opportunity that's right in front of you. Um, or that's it's, it's there, but you're like, so laser focused that it has to go that way that you're not willing to be like, Hey, it's, it's right over there. Are you willing to, are you willing to, to go after it? Um, to, to try something different, to try a new avenue, to try a new path and just see because the abundance will show up. And if you can create a mindset that you are abundant because you are, if you can create that mindset and like, believe, believe that you're abundant, believe that it's going to be there. It's going to be available. Like just, just take the leap. Um, so <laughs> this is so accurate for me right now. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's almost embarrassing <laughs> how accurate this is for my life right now. <laughs> the just, just like it's don't let it go without giving it everything you've got, believing that it's there for you to have because it is right. No, nothing. Everything that we want is there for us to have. Um, is just believing and knowing and trusting, surrendering, aligning that it's there, that it's there for you to have, right? Scorpios have some of the best energy for this entire year. So it's there for you. 
take it, whether it's a relationship, maybe it's a new job, maybe it's an entrepreneurial opportunity, maybe it's an event you want to attend or whatever, like you, whatever it is, like it's there for you to have. So do what it takes. This is what we used to say in my coach's training program, right? Like it, it was, it was, are you willing to do whatever it takes? And then you make a list of all of the ways that you can go about making that happen. And don't limit yourself, like keep yourself open to anything and everything because you don't know where you don't know if it's like right behind you and you're like shit I wasn't even freaking looking that way right I wasn't even looking there and the the the, the path and the 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 abund the um opportunity the possibility was right there and you weren't willing to see it so open yourself up be open to expanding yourself um to allow it to come in because it's there for you so this is just so amazingly accurate to my own situation right now so yeah I don't know what to do with that information but what I will say is from my own perspective is it's a place to go journal it's a place to go sit with yourself be with yourself cry if you need to re release whatever shit is in the way um and just surrendering and allowing whatever is meant for you to come for you because it will um, so journal on it, do whatever clearing work you need to do, um, you know, meditation work, maybe, maybe, I don't know, I did some mirror work today that seemed to help me cleanse a little bit more um, to allow in more self acceptance and self love, right, and self worth and my value and knowing that, you know, I'm showing up in this, in this world, in the space that I'm meant to be in. And that I'm allowing the expansion. Um, so anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Goodness gracious. Uh, this was, <laughs> this just knocked me off a little bit because I'm like, damn, this is like speaking right at me. Um, anyway, so join me on Tuesday, April 26th for that live on Facebook. If you would like to donate, um, my donation links are also below. If you'd like to donate to the support these videos. Um, yeah. And be aware, like the astrology is doing some crazy stuff this week, right? We've got like the Pluto going retrograde. We've got a solar eclipse. So things are about to shake up probably metaphorically and definitely literally in the physical world, things are about to shake up. So you never know what's, what's going to come. Just take some leaps, take some, take some steps, step into, you know, you don't have to know where it's going to go. You, you can just take the steps and see what opens up. So I love you. I'm sending you a ton of love and grace because I'm certainly going to send it to myself. All right. I'll talk to you all next time. Thanks, Scorpio. <laughs>